get the staff. You can't get the staff. Right, the staff. here we are getting Jeff's shed. Part two, or at least part 1.2. Uh, and, a half. and a half of the spares bike project and you've got a little tricky problem in that you've got to make a hole, an accurate hole, in this outrigger plate which is directly in line in there with the output sprocket. The output yeah. shaft. The output shaft, so how have you done it then? Um, First of all you made, bas basically, you made that shaft. Basically, dowel and fit the plate to the existing alternate, where the old original alternator cover used to go. Yeah. Uh, and, and then, then with a little clever gizmo. A couple of bushes, one in the original output bearing yep. and a ground piece of bar. Which goes all the way through. Which goes all the way through. Yeah, so if you spin it from this side. If you spin that. You make a, so you, so you with, put a drill on the end with, of that. With a high speed cutter, yeah. hole cutter. And is that hole an accurate hole now? Because obviously that doesn't look particularly accurate to me. But Well, if he's got a few thou run out, it will. It's good enough. It, 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 it's ideally spot on is always best, but yeah. uh, okay. you, you so, need... So with that done now, with, what's the next step? Are you going to widen that out or is that the whole The thing? next step now is to put it on the miller. Yep. I've now got a datum point off that hole where I can now bore it out to suit. To suit? Outer. Oh, that's a bearing support. Voila. That's that bloody great big bearing, yeah. The bearing will be partly bored into the case and the cap will hold it in. Yep. And then on the other side of that, what's going to happen? Sprocket. That's a sprocket uh, for... Well, obviously, uh, that's the next stage to get... But the sprocket will be work here, out. Or... Will the sprocket be there or there? Yeah, obviously we've got a... Oh, there's a couple of options at the minute, yeah. but I think that's going to be one of the okay. expensive but, little things to... But that was one of the tricky things you, you had to make, this yeah, and this. To, to make sure that the hole was... Yeah. Uh, just to get that hole in Just to get that hole. Where it should be. Well, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, great stuff. And how long did that take to do? To make those pieces and... Well, it's pieces. taken several hours to yeah. cut the hole in, about half an hour. Yeah. It took, but took all the planning to actually make... Yeah, it took more up. to set it up, machine all the bits, just to yeah. do that. But should I ever need to do another one... You've got all, the tooling now. It's all set up to do it. Okay. Great stuff. Time for tea, tea. I think. Tea, yes, tea. Okay, so here we are again in Jeff's shed. This is part three. I've still got a cup of tea to drink. And what we're looking at here is a it part is. for the spares bike. That's a big chunky bit of billet. One inch plate. One inch plate. To what's make. It, what's it made out of? What it is it? It's 60, 20, 60, 60, 20, 20 It's uh, nice stuff anyway, whatever it is. 6082 is it? 6082. I, I forget the name now, is that many right. different grades Codes, of aluminium? Yeah. And um, what's that for then? You're going to make something for our spares bike. Even the, yep. Yeah, you've got the curve there. So I think it's 6082, yeah. And which is you're going to machine a spacer out to match that, that and which is the clutch cover. Yep. And that so clutch cover will have will need a spacer because behind it you've got a bigger clutch. You've got a lock-up clutch. There will be a lock-up clutch, and you've yep. got to allow for the arms. Right, right. So and uh, it's better off having a bit more room than. So basically, it'll follow the shape of that, but but then be yeah, we can mill just, it just to a big spacer. Make it look okay. And why, and why like. have we got two of them? I'm going to put one on a road bike. Oh, okay, so I'll probably never okay, get. Okay, so I'm now going to rush back to the spares bike, which is way over here, well, leaving my cup of tea, <laughs> leaving my cup of tea behind, and you can see where that space is going to go. It's going to have to go here, so it'll be a one-inch spacer that's going between to between there. But there yeah. will be another plate bolted to this, right? To okay. create, as with the other side, to create an extra bottom engine mount. Mount. Okay, cool. Because of the power, obviously, with just the original one on the top, yeah, yeah. you're in fear of doing damage And to I see cases. you've got your, your retro-looking old seat unit back on back it again. Back on, yeah. Yeah, it needs a bit of work yet. Welding goggles and newspapers, Newspapers optional. and, yeah, that was probably made, what, 80s? But well, it looks apart. That, that is know. original, that is what Pete Smith had on yeah. the bike. Okay, so, many, many with a bit of work, a, a bit more of a rounded profile there, fill yeah. that little bit in, to try and, and it should. Look. And it should look like something cool. Seat support bracket obviously made mm -hmm. to support it. Yeah, cool. Okay, back back to drinking tea again, I think. And here we are looking at the spares bike again. It's a bit noisy in the background because Jeff's got his lathe on. Yeah, yeah. And what's happening today is we need a snout to bolt onto this, which will carry the drive from the crank up 
to the snout and to drive the supercharger. To do that, we've made this side plate already, but it needs some additional material to machine up um, a snout. And that noise in the background is Jeff making that snout because now he's got uh, the, the materials arrived from the supplier. So I'm gonna walk over here and we we'll, won't get too close for safety's sake. And that big chunk of material there is being machined. 6082. 6082 alloy is being machined. H30. Okay. To um, become that snout. Obviously we've got the guard up. Normally the guard will be down. This, for demonstration purposes. So I'm, st I'm standing quite a way back. Um, keep safe. And in a little while, in a few more hours of machining, that will turn into a hopefully a nice snout with nice bearings in it, which will be the next step along the way to getting the spares bike completed. So I'll leave Jeff to it while I go and drink tea. Bye for now.